Hey everyone, so for my periodization topic, I'll be talking about daily undulating periodization. I would say that daily undulating periodization falls under the category of undulating periodization because there is a, another type of undulating, which is weekly undulating, and we'll get into that. But just to describe daily undulating periodization is the type of training program that implements various types of intensity and volume at every training session every day. Um, this idea is to place the body under a different stimulus daily so that the body isn't adapting to training too quickly. Um, and this allows for the training response in the muscles to occur and to ultimately increase strength more rapidly. Now there was, well, let's talk about the um, history of uh, daily undulating periodization. I would say Charles Poliquin is the discoverer of this style of training. Um, he came upon it in his research in the 1980s. He found that in the other types of undulating periodization, which is called weekly, that and within weekly they normally change the stimuli every two weeks he was finding that even within that two week block that the body was already making adaptations to training and so with that being said that varying um, and it wasn't creating enough stimuli and was finding that more of a daily undulating periodization was creating a higher strain on the body, um, increasing stimulus within that more frequently was better gained across the board strength-wise, even compared to non-linear periodization and um, linear periodization. I would say it was originally developed or discovered um, because about that time frame um, within research of strength training programs. The idea is to increase strength as quick as we can, but also at the same time decrease overtraining or risk of overtraining, finding that sweet spot within those um, daily undulating periodization came about. Um, sports that use daily undulating periodization, I would say Pretty much any sport that has the goal of increasing strength. With that being said, the most popular sport I would say that uses this almost all the time now would be powerlifting. Yes, powerlifting is not as common as football. However, it Within the past few years, powerlifting obviously has increased in um, competitors and popularity. And in the past, actually, powerlifting for a while, um, the most commonly used training style or periodization was conjugate and like west side um, for a while. And with time has gone on, realizing with daily undulating periodization, that that was more optimal in increasing gains, you know, respectively to have competition ready best lifts. Um, fun facts about this, I actually use daily undulating periodization for my own personal um, programming. I compete and train in powerlifting and I've been doing it for about three years. I would say that daily undulating periodization would not be as optimal for a more novice lifter or novice athlete in the weight room just because the various stimuli happening so frequently that it's not giving enough time for a novice lifter to make those adaptations which are happen quickly in, in those first few months, years of training. 
I think it's also important for maybe a novice lifter to use linear periodization. That way they can get more comfortable within the lifts, within the training blocks, and it's not all over the place for them. Um, I would say once a more advanced or someone that begins to plateau within their strength training, um, undulating, daily undulating periodization is one of those programs that can almost begin to take you to that next level um, rather than just continuing to plateau. Um, with that being said, I think that's why it has grown so much as a commonality in programming for powerlifting because those typically are more um, elite, advanced lifters. And even myself, when I first started lifting weights, I was using linear and I was seeing great um, adaptations. And then I began to plateau. And then, then I began to dive into daily undulating periodization. So I think it's a very, if you lift weights or compete in any type of thing, I think it's a very common route to go nowadays. Um, I actually just competed this past August and I have my final meet prep that I have pulled up on here just to kind of give an example of, you know, what a daily undulating periodization program kind of looks like, at least from a powerlifting standpoint. Of course, with powerlifting, you have your main lift, squat, bench, and deadlift. So those are your main lifts within your um, days, especially in my final meet prep, which is about, this was about five weeks out. Um, so I squat, within this program, I squat two times a week, and I bench three days a week, and I deadlift three days a week. With that being said, I'm not squatting, with daily, undu daily undulating periodization, I'm not squatting the exact same um, weight, intensity, volume every single day. Here's an example on my Mondays. I do a competition squat, so I follow competition calls. I complete a four by four, but I also use the RPE just to maintain fatigue um, so that I don't increase that risk into injury. So I use an RPE as well. But I'm squatting four by four at a set weight at a certain RPE on Monday. And then come Saturday, I have my big training day, which is a squat, bench, deadlift day. I do all three lifts. I have a competition squat at a top set of a single, so just one at, let's say, an RP7. And then I have back off sets, um, a two by three, so two sets of three reps. <clears throat> and then for my bench, I bench three days a week. My body is able to handle and recover three days a week. And on my first bench day, I do a four by four, which is on the same day as my competition squat. And then on a variation day, I do a tempo bench three by five at a certain RP. And then on Saturday, same thing. I hit a top single, and then I have a back off set of two by three at a certain RP. And deadlift, I do the same. Well, in this last five weeks, I did the same. Um, variation as my squat so I had a little bit different of volume day so I had a competition deadlift of three by five and then on Saturday I had a top single and then with a back off set of two by three now you can hear within that some days I'll have a top set and some days um, I won't some days I'll have back offs and some days I'll just have one working um, weight and set with all that um, within that, that's when you begin to break down daily undulating periodization. You could even have a more simple program where, let's say I squat <clears throat> two days a week, just like on my program here. But on that Saturday, I just have a heavier two by three, no top single. Same thing, it's still daily undulating periodization. I'm just adding more of um, personal, I would say, performance related to my sport um, where I'm getting a competition single in which is great for me to 
you know, learn and have and carry that weight. That way when I come competition day, I'm ready and able to hit at least my opener um, on whichever lift. So, and also you can hear on, you know, my, let's say my bench, I bench three days a week. Coming from a powerlifting standpoint, I choose, since I'm going three days a week, one of those days I'll choose a variation within my bench. It wouldn't be a competition one, it'd be a variation within something that I struggle, a point in that lift in which I struggle. So I choose a tempo, I chose a tempo bench, um, a 3-2-0, so a three second descend, two second pause on my chest, and then no tempo on the way back up because I sometimes have a difficulty when I would fail a rep within my bench it would be typically right off my chest right in there so getting a pause controlled um, tempo bench was beneficial for me now of course if I look back prior to my five-week training program it's a little bit different I'm doing a lot more variation work, working on weak points, doing like a pause deadlift because um, I have trouble getting, when I'm failing it, it's, it's typically off the floor, not at lockout. So I think that's the nice thing about daily undulating periodization is that you have the ability to create a program truly based off of what the athlete or said client can necessarily handle and I think it's important within daily undulating periodization to control fatigue sometimes that can be an issue that's why I wouldn't recommend it to a novice lifter because um, they're learning their body is learning how to adapt between just like a weekly training session when like a more elite lifter can truly um, adapt and control fatigue their body is able to control fatigue between benching one day and you can literally go back in and bench the next day and be okay without risking of overtraining with that being said that's why I use an RPE training um, variable within there to also control fatigue I think we'll dabble within that later in the semester I'm sure with periodization um, fatigue and overtraining go hand in hand and um, I would say that that is all I have on daily undulating periodization I'm really excited to have this topic um, just because I mean y'all have heard that I use this and um, there's a lot of research on it as well especially with in the last few years and I think it's gaining a lot more popularity. It's taken some time for it to gain popularity, but luckily it is um, more so now, I think, than ever. And people are realizing that, you know, um, programming doesn't have to be a, as complicated or, or stuck within a box. That's the nice thing about this type of periodization is it's changing on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's based off of the needs and the ability that the client or athlete can handle while making sure overtraining does not occur. Um, with that being said, I'm excited to see what all you have to say, and I look forward to the semester. All right, thanks so much, y'all. Bye.